Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a C name on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I uh, will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to add a C name on GoDaddy. So of course, the first thing is we would like to go to our products page by clicking at your name at the top right corner. Then make sure to go to this account section and click at my product, which will take you to the products page. Of course, from here, you will have to look for this domain section. If it's not expanded, expanded, then go and click at the DNS of the domain name that you would like to choose or to add the C name on. Once you're here, make sure you are on this DNS SEC and go to this DNS records and simply click at add option. Once you're here, make sure to select at the type C name. And as you can see, C name records are type of subdomains or alias that points to another domain name. Of course, here you'll have simply to add the name, the value and choose the TLL. Of course, the default is one hour. And as you can see, you'll have to fill all these mandatory options to add your C name or to add a record in general. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.